chosen ones where you were 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 chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video right great chosen one yes someone is dying because you are beyond control oh yes chosen one yes as a chosen one you have understanding that the only power that people have over you is the power that you give them yes Nobody is going to have power over you if you don't give them your power. Right. And the chosen one, you have understanding of that. And because of that, you try to control the four M's in this life. Yes, chosen one. Do you know of the four M's? That is what we'll be talking about in this video. If you are able to put your four M's into check, you are beyond control. Oh, yes. People can no longer manipulate you. People cannot control you. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, chosen one. So that is what we'll be talking about in this video. So stay tuned to the very end of this video. I tell you, you are going to be blessed by the end of this video. Oh, yes. Some of you, you are already controlling such things. So you are beyond control. Yes. And if you are under the sound of my voice and you're not yet aware, aware okay, you are not yet aware of these four M's and you don't know how to put them under control. By the end of this video, you'll be able to put them under control and you are going to be beyond control and you'll be driving people crazy. People are going to get mad because you are beyond control. They are control. Oh, yes. You see, every chosen one must master the four M's. And what do I mean by these four M's? The number one M is your money. If you can put your money under control, you can control your money. Right? You can control how you make money. You can control... To become financially independent, like you're working hard on yourself to become financially independent. You, I mean, learn about financial literacy. You have much knowledge about financial literacy. Okay, You self-educate yourself on things of that nature. And you know how to put your money under control. I'm telling you, you will be beyond control. People cannot control you. You see... In this life, in this world, it is money that is being used to control people. Oh, yes, chosen one. Money is making people do things that does not, you know, resonate with the truth that is inside them. But because they need the money anyway, people can come out with money. If you do this, I'm going to give you this amount. Yes, they are controlling you. They are controlling you because, yes, they said, if you can do this, if you can behave like this, if you can do that, if you can, you know, then I will give you this. You are being controlled. By the moment you learn how to be financially free and you work on it to become financially free, okay, and you doing things that you love, you are into your own purpose, and you become your own boss. People can no longer control you. You will be beyond control. And that all the time worried people. It disturbed them. Yes, because you are in charge of your own money. Chosen ones. You see, today, many of us are in slavery. Today, today, today. The slavery is not over. In the olden days right the slaves they work the whole day and what do they get from working the whole day they give them food to eat after working the whole day now the same thing is happening but it is just that the strategy and the tactics has changed and this is it this is it in the olden days you work the whole day and then they give you food they don't pay you these days in this era, okay, you are going to work, right? You are going to work so hard and you will be paid. 
but the amount of money they are going to pay you, okay, you cannot save so much from it and invest. So the amount of money that it will be paid to you, you only use it to pay rent, to pay your bills, your utility bills, to buy a few clothing, to buy food, and that's it. Oh, yeah. So, it is still slavery. You are being controlled. We are all being controlled. And for us to be beyond control, we must think and strive to do things that will help us to become financially free. And the moment we learn how to make our own money, right, from our own gift and talent given to us, I'm telling you, we are going to be beyond control. Any person that can put these things into check and work on them and become financially free, yes, is going to be free indeed. Until then, that freedom that God has given to us, that it's our best right. We're not going to get it. Yes, freedom is our best right. Being free is our best right. Working hard, making money is to attain a level of freedom. So that you can eat what you want to eat. You can walk into any restaurant and not think that something is too expensive for you. You can afford anything. Yes, you can afford anything that you want to. Yes, and not even bother. In that manner, you are free. Yes. So, if you can put your money under check, you will be beyond control. The second thing is your own mind. Yes. There are many of us, we don't know how to control our own mind. We let people decide for us. We let people control us. Yes. Even in relationship, we allow third parties to control us. We, al we allow our friends to control us. In that way, you're not, you're not deciding for yourself. You are under control. Because anything that happens in your relationship, you have to tell friends. Friends have to give you advice and you have to rely on their advice to act to work with. Sometimes you have to go to your parents to rely on them. And normally what happens with such relationship is that they don't last. The, the kind of relationship that there is so much interference, control, such relationship doesn't last. What lasts is you being matured enough and knowing right from wrong Right? Reflecting on whatever deeds and taking your own decision, following your heart, following your intuition. That is what, you know, bring growth and bring development and bring freedom. Our own mind. Yes, just one. If you can control your mind, you become a dangerous person. Yes. Chosen one. Take this. Every one of us, our thoughts becomes our words. Our words become our actions. Our actions become our habits. And our habits becomes our character. Our character is what become our earthly destiny. So we are in charge. We are in control. If we don't understand this, and we don't put our mind, we don't manage our mind very well. Right? But we, we allow, we don't control our mind, but we allow our mind to control us. We will be slaves for so long a time. We will always be controlled. Be tossed here and there. But the moment you understand that your thoughts is what become your ways and your ways become your actions and your actions become your habits. Your habits become your character. Your character is what determines your earthly destiny.
here on earth and you start to mind your own business to take your own personal decisions and reflect and not play any blame game and not blame anybody for your shortcomings but you take total responsibility over your life and you keep on working hard as if all depends on you and keep praying hard as if all depends on God certainly and definitely you are going to be beyond control yes so that is with the two M's money your mind right the third M I will talk about is your mood your mood which has to do with your emotions your feelings if you can learn how to detach yourself emotionally from people from the results and apostle paul said it he said even if you have it act as if you don't have it in that way you will not be controlled by that thing or nobody can control you yes it said let those that are married behave as if they are not yes just someone so it means the things you 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 have you should detach yourself from the things you have and when you detach yourself from the things you have the things you have can no longer control you people will control you based on things yes if what you possess what you own is what decide what to do you you are being controlled you are supposed to control the things not the things to control you right and the moment you are able to do that you are beyond control if you learn to deta- detach yourself emotional detachment you can control your own mood when people are trying to upset you you see beyond and you just let it go yes the only power people have over you is the power you give them and remember he who or she who provokes you or angers you controls you so if you can control your mood oh you are beyond control and these drive people so crazy because sometimes people will push you this word is going to push you to the wall so strong to see how you are going to retaliate how you going to react how you going to behave are you going to act out of character are you going to act on your impulse uh, or are you going to put them under control if you can put your mood under control and you can stay positive in a negative situation you are winning if you can become poised serene peaceful in pressure and tension time you will be conscious of your fate i'm telling you you will win you are beyond control that's it just one that's it just one yes your mood your mood people try to offend us so that we will hold offense we will hold grudge the moment you begin to hold grudge begin to hold offense you have given your emotional control to such a person yes how because the person that offend you anytime you hear the person's name or you see the person or you watching the person you become provoked you are being controlled your heart start to race faster your heart start to beat faster for no reason yes because you've not let go if you can control your mood and know how to let go of things that don't serve you forgive and forget and move on and mind your business you are beyond control and these drive people crazy it drives people insane i'm telling you one of the main thing that the enemy used to control as is offense offense 
I did that for him. I did that for her. Uh, yes, love, love with expectation. This kind of things often set us up for offense. It traps, it traps us. And if you can control and love without expectation, right? You can put your mood under check. You are beyond control. It drives people so crazy. The last M is your mouth. You see, our mouth, our mouth can sometimes put us into trouble. But when we learn to zip our mouth, to move in silence, right? I'm telling you, we are certainly going to win. Because most of the things that people use to control us is the things that comes from our own mouth, our very mouth. Yes. Sometimes what we say, what we tell people, what we make people know. Because what people know, they destroy. What they don't know, they're going to call it names. So what you tell people is what they're going to use to try to judge you, to try to control you. But if you are silent, your silence cannot be misquoted. And you cannot be controlled. So when we learn to put our mouth under control, we become people that are beyond control. Most of our troubles are tongue troubles, mouth troubles. Oh yes, most of our troubles. Our mouth troubles, our tongue troubles, we talk too much. We open up to people we're not supposed to open up to. And they later use what we tell them, the secret we reveal to them against us, to control us, to manipulate us. Yes, just someone. So, that is it. If you are putting these things under control, then you should know that someone is dying. Is you, you, you're making someone go crazy. You're pissing someone off right now because you are beyond control. And if you are not yet there, you can still put that under control. And you will be beyond control. I'm telling you. Thank you, Chosen Ones. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.